Welcome back to Getting Nerdy MTG. More specifically, another episode of Mystery MTG. This month's subscription got a Return to Ravnica, Fate Reforged, and our what they're calling their premium pack is the Avacyn Restored. Now, for those that haven't seen this particular series before, uh, each month I receive three booster packs. Uh, one of them is a higher end pack from the other two. Uh, in this month's case, like I said, it's the Avacyn Restored. We crack them open, see what's in them, uh, what they're worth, and hopefully not lose too much money on this month. We're going to start out with the Return to Ravnica. Uh, as always, we got a few facts about the set. Uh, actually, no, so we are starting out with Fate Reforged. Uh, you would think I'd have this down by now. I've been doing it for a little while. But, uh, Fate Reforged, printed 2015. Uh, market value, all prices in these videos are based on market value on the site TCG Player. Uh, market value as of now for the sealed pack, you're looking at about 530. Uh, most expensive card in the set is the Temporal tre uh, Trespass. Market value on it right at about $22. Uh, let's see. We've also got the excuse me, for some reason, just a little distracted. Uh Ugin the Spirit Dragon's another big hitter sitting just under that $22 mark. Uh, there are three uncommons that meet our $1 threshold. Uh, Dark Deal, Reality Shift, and Teamer Sabretooth. Uh, all three of those are sitting at a, in the $1 to $2 a piece range. Uh, sadly, there are no commons that meet that threshold. Okay, starting off with our commons in the set. We've got the Oven Surveyor, Typhoid Rats, Ethereal Ambush. Now let's move this camera up just a hair. It's a little better. I said Ethereal Ambush. Got a Dragon Bell Monk. Enhanced Awareness, Mardu Scout with the dash mechanic, Archers, Archers of Corsi, Fierce Invocation, Feral Crushuck, 5-4 beast for 5 mana total, The Great Horn Crosshook or Crosshock. <coughs> Excuse me. Our first uncommon. We've got the Ugin's Construct. A Wild Slash. And a Sage's Reverie. Our rare for the pack. We've got a Frontier Siege. Uh, into the land spot, the common Scoured Barons. Next, we've got the Return to Ravnica, printed in 2012. TCG's listing these for around $5.15 a piece sealed. Most expensive card in the set is Cyclonic Rift, market value right at about $38. Uh, there are five shock lands in this set, ranging anywhere from ten to nineteen dollars. Uh, shock lands very highly played in every format they're legal in. Uh, the uncommons we'll be watching for are Vandal Blast, market value about four forty-five, and Sphere of Safety at about three sixty. Again, no commons that meet our threshold.
For the commons, we've got a trained caracal. Survey the wreckage. Aerial predation. Chronic flooding. Vassal soul. Trestle troll. Towering Indrick, Rune Wing, Sunspire Griffin, Perilous Shadow, and our Uncommons. We've got a Savage Surge, a Blister Coil Weird. And a street spasm with the overload mechanic. Uh, let's see. Street spasm deals X damage to target creature without flying. You don't control for X and a red. Or you can play pay 2X, red, red. Cast a spell for its overload costs. So instead of it doing damage to target creature without flying, you don't control. It is every creature with flying that you do not control. Rare for the pack, we've got the Mercurial Chemister. And then a news token. Followed by a basic mountain. Nothing crazy so far. I don't even know there's anything decent so far. But in any case, Avacyn Restored. Uh, printed 2012 market value sitting at around 1640 so that's the premium end of this definitely more than a, a regular booster pack uh, most expensive card in the print uh, in the set is cavern of souls currently at about 64 dollars we've also got archangel of hope or sorry avison angel of hope worth around 57. And the very popular Crater Hoof Behemoth sitting at about 3250. Only one uncommon being Blood Artist. Market value about $1.45. And one common card, Ghostly Flicker. Market value of about $1.15. Starting off with a Thraben Valiant. Guys of Fire, Trusted Force Mage, got a Bone Splinters, little removal spell, Fervent Cathar, Essence Harvest, Alchemist's Apprentice, Got a moonlit, I'm um, sorry, moonlight geist, death wind, angel's mercy, and our uncommons. We have the you spirit, followed by a vanishment. Here we see the miracle. Uh, you can either pay four and a blue to cast this this card which five mana for put target non-land permanent on top of its owner's library is a horrible cost. Uh, but the miracle for a blue, if this is the first card you drew in your in a turn, so be it your turn, opponent's turn, doesn't matter. If it's the first card you draw that turn, you can pay a blue and cast that same spell. We've got a Stern Mentor and a Bruna Light of Alabaster. Uh, I actually went up against a commander deck built around Bruna one time. It was it, it was pretty hard to beat, specifically in a one-on-one -on -one game. Uh, anytime Bruna attacks, you're going to put all auras that you have in your hand, in your graveyard, if you have any in the battlefield, which auras don't typically stay on the battlefield, but uh, any auras 
basically that you have access to at that moment, including Graveyard, immediately go on to her for free. And let's see, and we have a basic mountain again. Uh, so like I said, nothing crazy. Uh, the Bruna makes a pretty decent commander, specifically a Voltron strategy, which I don't tend to like to play, uh, but it can be very effective specifically in a one-on-one -on -one game. Um, so Bruna's pretty decent for that. Aside from that, like I said, I don't think there's anything really to, to scream about. Uh, we'll, feed, we'll find out exactly in the editing, as always. But that being said, that is it for today. Uh, Y'all feel free to do all the YouTube stuff. Uh, the wifey, or Coley, as I tend to refer to her as, or she refers to herself as, uh, gets upset with me if I don't mention the YouTube stuff. So subscribe, like, comment, share, uh, all that kind of stuff. And we will talk to y'all another day. Have a good day.